I broke a hundred dollars worth of cups. Why are there so many holes? It should be connected. I was driving home from the gym this week and I saw a Plato's closet in my town. And it just popped up out of nowhere. I got a hundred and seven dollars. Last time I ever got that much, I was in college. Yes, this is what it looks like without my light. Do you see the difference here? Now I wanna burn all the bridges between I look so much younger and then It's Saturday today. I have one week to get everything prepared for the vendor market. It's a fall market. It is outdoors. I am nervous because I've never done one before and I don't want to overbuy, but I also am like, am I underbuying because, you know, I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, I got a tent because that's a necessity when you're doing outdoors. I do know that. I've watched so many vendor markets and I've tried to like take notes of what other people do and um, I don't want to spend too much because if I don't make anything, it's going to be a big loss and the less I spend, the less of a loss it's going to feel. It was $60 for it. It's in Oxford, Ohio. It's a college town. It's where Miami University is. Uh, I'm really hoping I get some of those girls in there and also some mamas because I feel like that's what my stuff is catering towards and obviously there's kids. I believe where it's at, it's like a pumpkin farm. I could totally be making this up because honestly I haven't looked and it's been like a month since I signed up. Um, it might be in like a park actually. I don't know. Either way, it's um, for kids. Like it's a family. Themed. So I'm really hoping my stuff turns out okay for them. Though so this week we're really just gonna like nail down getting everything made um, that I have. So we have more cups to make. Oh my gosh, the cups, you guys! I want to cry. At this point, like I've kind of like decompressed and uh, de-escalated myself from it. I broke a hundred dollars worth of cups. A hundred dollars worth of cups. Did I say that clearly? Uh, oh. Yeah, so we're not going to talk about it. We're moving on. <laughs> it's in the past. Uh, we do have new cups coming today, so <laughs> I'm going to be on my best behavior with them. <laughs> yeah, I still... <sighs> Biggest loss so far for my business is that. Anyways, um, where was I going? Oh yeah, we have cups we need to do. We have keychains I need to make and not even just like make them. I need to like perfect them before I even attempt to like make a bunch of them. I need to just like come up with one design that I'm really good at because right now like I've made some and they're cute but they're just not perfect and I need them to be wonderful to sell them. So maybe tonight I'll do that. I need to do <sighs> my tote bags um, in the background there. there. I need to put the uh, DTFs on them, which I got from um, Heart to Heart Creations. I can't, I can never remember what I've said and what I haven't said because I do TikTok also. But I picked up some new cup decals from Heart to Heart Creations. I'll show you them. I just got like nine of them. Um, some of these say have a cup of cheer. It's like that's really cute. And then some of these football ones because this is Miami University's colors because I wanted to have more than just my, like the ghost booties are mine. I did not personally want to invest a bunch of time making new cup wraps uh, when I'm just selling these at the market. So I, again, did not make these. If you're interested in getting cup wraps though, Heart to Heart Creation has a bunch of cute ones. She's on Etsy, she has her own website. Um, make sure you comment that I sent you there though. I, it's not like an affiliate. I just want her to know that <laughs> I like her stuff and I'm sending traffic there. But yeah, I got these to sell so I have uh, a variety. And I had six little flower petals from Coats World or Cots World cup wraps that I'm also doing. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, four different cup designs, which I think is good, especially for my first market. Hopefully in the future I could just do all my own designs, but because I'm just starting out and like new, I thought this is a wiser decision to uh, go with someone that already 
has them and can you know send you the printed version because I don't have a DTF printer you guys know this um, but yeah oh and if you are someone that designs stuff and you're like I don't even know how to go about getting these and you want to like do your own designs Coats World or Cots World has I need to just like figure out how to pronounce that. She does the printing. They have a DTF printer that they use and she will send them to you. So that's what I do with my ghost um, designs is I ha send her the file and then she prints them. You just have to like make it into a gang sheet. And there's plenty of videos to show you how to do that. It's super easy, especially if you have Canva. Um, that's where I do all my gang sheets on. There's a fruit fly flying around. If you see something, that's what it is. And then lastly, we need to prep this week are like 30 DTF transfer shirts, adult and kid. So it's not that much. It sounds like a lot as I'm saying it and like seeing things, but it's not that much. So what we need to do today is practice putting up the tent because that is a chaotic mess. I feel like the morning of should not be my first time putting it up. So we're gonna do that. Excuse me, uh, whew, Mexican. I bought it from Walmart and it was on clearance for $50. It's a 10 by 10. I don't know. The reviews are pretty good, but I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, I'm hoping it's good. $50 seems like not enough money for what they were on Amazon. Every one of them was like $150 to $250, so I'm a little nervous. Why don't we just like pull it out right now though? I feel like maybe I should have started out my first, um, I hope I'm not foreshadowing, my first vendor show in an indoor area, but because it's a fall market and I have like all, pretty much most of my stuff is fall themed, I really needed to hit that up to get rid of my inventory so that I could start doing um, some like holiday and like prepping summer type season stuff. And I want to do less, I just really like Halloween, I want to do less design specifically for a holiday. Uh, but because this is what I have right now, I think I need to do like a pumpkin patch type fall market. I think it's at a pumpkin farm. We're opening this box, you can't see it, can you? This is not seeming like what I want. It looks to me like I have to put it all together and it doesn't just like fold out. Dang it, I hope that's not the case. Why are there so many pools? Shouldn't they be connected? I don't think, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, this is not gonna work. This is like if I were going to have it at my house permanently, not for if I want to do quick setups because there's so many parts and you have to take it apart. Dang it, okay. Let's pack this back up. Well, now I need to get a tent. Aldi has one for $69. I was hoping I'd go on clearance. It hasn't yet. I could go back this week and see if it has. It doesn't come with walls, though. I know you can buy walls. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I'm not, do I'm not doing this. <laughs> Well, that's why it was $50. So if you see that and you're on Walmart's site and you're like, why is this so much cheaper than every other tent you've seen? That's because it's a mess. And I say it's a mess. It's more of like you're not transporting it and you're not using it all the time. Looks like we're going to have to spend $100 more. There's an ant. Set you free, little buddy. I want to show you my vinyl sign that came in. Okay, I got this. So our cherry corner showed it. She got hers for a penny, one penny. And she had a one by 10 foot to go across the entire tent. But um, I did not have that luxury of having a 99% discount. 
say I got this six foot by one foot sign and it's from a TikTok seller. I will try linking him because it turned out so good. So you have to obviously, well, you don't have to. You could have him design it, um, but it's more expensive. So I just made this on Canva. It is the chunky bee. It says, hello, beautiful. It shows that I take card and cash. And then on the other side, I have all my socials. So I have my TikTok, my YouTube, and my Etsy store on it. So then someone could take a photo if they wanted to like um, look me up later. I thought this was so cute. I kind of want to get another one made of just the the B and like a squarish rectangle so I can put it on my table. And um, that way, if anyone's not looking up, they can still see my brand name. So I do want to do that. I just don't think that's going to be my first market. I'm not going to do that. So this is going to be my only sign, but I think that's fine. I'm so happy about it. So I got some bungee cord strips so that I can... Well, I guess when I have my tent, I can go ahead and um, put it up. So I am very happy with this. I got it half off on TikTok shop because they give you different discounts. And I had never ordered anything on TikTok shop. So I think that's why I had a half off coupon um, and free shipping. So this came out to $20. I think 20 between 20 and 30 um no more than 30. yeah i'm pretty sure not and it literally shipped out within a day i don't know how he does it i got this like 30 hours after i placed the order and i placed the order on a weekend <laughs> i like the smell of it too i'm like vinyl smell especially new vinyl smell And that's like, okay, I'm gonna go research tents. Maybe you have to go back to Aldi and look at theirs. Let me know in the comments. Well, no, because by the time I upload this video, it'll already be over. So knowing if I need a tent with walls or not doesn't gonna help me. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Okay, I just put in for the return and all I have to do is drop it off at Walmart. So it should be a-okay. They actually made it really easy. I could have even scheduled FedEx to come pick it up, but I don't want to deal with like having to be home for them. So I got a Poshmark order, like someone ordered from me. So we're making money here. Great. Um, my Show Me Your Moo Moo address sold that I wore um, when I was made of honor in my friend's wedding and I was like super pregnant but it's not technically a pregnancy dress it's just a maxi it's so pretty it, it's pretty on whether you're pregnant or not um and I love the color of it I'm kind of like a little sad that I'm getting rid of it but at the same time I had such an awful pregnancy I like pretty much got rid of every single thing that I wore during it because <laughs> If you guys didn't see those vlogs, I rarely updated the whole nine months I was pregnant. I actually just watched part of one today and it reminded me um, why I probably won't have another child. I love Asher, I love him so much, but those nine months were awful. So having pregnancy clothes just reminds me of um, getting sick multiple times a day for the entire nine months like it just it makes me nauseous even thinking about it so we're gonna send her off to her next family uh, and let someone else enjoy her i'm going to use my new washi tape because i haven't used it yet i've actually never owned washi tape am i even saying that correct i kind of want to flatten it a little bit more because i want to just drop it off in my blue box in the neighborhood so i can just take asher on a walk and drop it in but if it's too thick then i can't do that it's gonna be a close call i think it should work though i probably could have made the dress itself smaller i think it's priority mail yeah but it's not flat right and this is flat right someone shipped me a ton of these inside like they just took it from the post office and used it as padding which you should not do um, and then i have all these and like i don't know what to do with them 
I guess I could take them back to the post office. That's not a bad idea. That's just so wasteful to me. Yeah, I have so many. Okay, here's some, nope, those are bags. Where did all my normal priority mail ones go? I need to organize this. I keep saying I need to organize this area and I haven't yet. Where are they? Maybe I used them all. I mean, that does sound like something I would do. Because I normally just take a stack of them at a time. Um, and then it takes me a while to go through them. And I probably did go through them. So we're going to put that in one of my, hopefully it fits, in my biodegradable bags that I still haven't got to use yet because I've only had one clothing order from the Chunky Bee and it was too big to fit in it. So. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, it's so cute. We're going to give her a little thank you card too because we do thank her for the purchase. I got these off of um, Amazon and I hate them. So let's definitely use them up. I also have the stickers that I hate with them, so can't wait to go through them all, but I'm not going to get rid of them um, because that's wasteful and that's money, so we're using it. I'm using my little octopus pen. I call it a pen. It's highlighter, but I use it as a pen. I feel like my handwriting in this, though, is awful. Like, they're going to think a fourth grader wrote this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I forgot to tell you guys. So... This is going to be so random, but uh, <laughs> I used to work at Plato's Closet when I was in college. Uh, like a year, not very long. But um, during my time there, like I learned like how to do everything and how the store works. And essentially, if you've ever wondered, I think I've said this before a long, long, long time ago. If you ever wondered how they do it, they basically give you a third of what they plan to sell the item at. So let's say you bring in a Lululemon pair of leggings. They're going to sell that at like $16 to $20. So you're only going to get like less than $5 for it. Maybe, depending how much they're selling it for. And like they base it on if it's in new with tags, excellent, good, or fair condition. That all, everything affects the price. Um, and if it's a brand they don't have in their system, because obviously they can't categorize every single brand ever made. They put it under other. And that always is categorized very cheap it's the cheapest because they don't know what it is so like even if it's a really nice brand like say i brought joa brown in uh and they don't have it in their system because honestly i don't know if they do because it's such a small brand but it's expensive um it's actually pretty big now but it used to not be uh it might only they might give you like a couple dollars for it you know what i mean so anyways point of the story is um, whenever I go into Plato's, I know what they buy. Like, I know what brands they look for. I know, like, the condition, and it has to be within, like, well, it has to be. This is loose. Uh, within the last five years, May. So, like, they keep track. Like, we had study books of, um, oh, I feel like this is, like, choking me. Study books of brand tags. Like, what the current brand tag is. So, like, what I'm saying is what it looks like. Because brand tags change over the years. So, like, for instance, Joa Brown used to have... Um, their tag had like this little arrow on it and so you know that's an old version and you wouldn't buy that um, unless it's like super cute and the person buying it's flexible like if you really like it you can buy it so really what it comes down to is whoever is looking through your clothes what their style is and what they like is going to depend if they're taking your stuff um, and lately like the last five years they don't want my stuff at all which is odd because I have like brand new with tag stuff within the last five years. That's cute to me, obviously. It's to me. But whoever buying it, it's not. So I never get anything. Like sometimes I leave there with bag, I bring them bags of stuff, new with tags, like Michael Kors um, sandals, like nice things. Um, and they give it all back and take nothing. So the last time before this time I went they took nothing and I kept that stuff and I have it on Poshmark so like obviously Poshmark you're gonna get more money so I try to sell them there but then sometimes I'm like I have too much stuff so I need to just go ahead and take it to Play-Dohs and see if they'll take anything. I took, I was randomly, this is getting really confusing, I was driving home from the gym this week and I saw a Play-Dohs closet in my town 
and it just popped up out of nowhere. I didn't hear it was coming, it just popped up. And so I went there, it had only been open six days at that point. They took almost every single thing from my bags. I got $107. Last time I ever got that much, I was in college. That was like 10 years ago, the last time they took that much. So um, basically, if you have a new place opening up, take your stuff there. Because apparently, uh, they're a little more lenient on what they'll take because they need more stock. We have our bag. I just need to tape the um, shipping label to it and we're gonna drop that off today. And if you want to look at my Poshmark, it is linked below. Feel free to send me offers. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it. I love you so much. I will see you soon. What is my print? Is Max, oh, did Max pop in? <sighs> Scares me. I've moved my printer over here. So like, it's harder for Max. I mean, he jumps up there, don't get me wrong, but it's harder for him to uh, navigate it when it's on and when it's off. When Whereas, like, when it was over there, I feel like that's an easy... I don't know. I'm making excuses for him. Okay, bye. Oh, hey. Oh, ugh, that was all syrup in that drink. Nasty. I have a ring light on. I just filmed an Ipsy video. Um, I never go into this in depth with making my setup look nice so and even though it doesn't look amazing it looks better than normal but that's why I look better than normal so I have my ring light on um we went to well Randall and I went out for lunch and then we went and tried to find a pop-up tent for the vendor show and none of them come with walls so I'm just gonna get it on Amazon because you guys saw that the tent I ordered was not what I thought it was. So I already returned that to Walmart. I tried to go to Starbucks. Um, running, like, not really a joke, but the thing is, I tried to go to Starbucks, not a lot, but like, I try a decent amount and it never works out. Never works out. The worst Starbucks I've ever been to in history. Like, this store is just consistently terrible. And when I say terrible, like, the people inside, obviously, the people are not terrible. But whenever I go, I do not come out with a drink. <laughs> I know I, it's been at least four times I've tried to go and I have been unsuccessful all four times. It's just that Starbucks. They don't have workers. I think it's a thing where they don't have enough workers. Um, they're having a really hard time keeping workers. But when I go, it's open and then somehow it closes in the midst of me being in line every time every time so today though it was fully closed so we went around and there were signs posted saying that they just didn't open today which is not abnormal for <laughs> the time before that i was so excited i almost filmed it because i was started film and just to be like <laughs> praise the lord i'm getting starbucks today and it's working out and i'm not joking with you i got to the uh intercom window to order and as I was like pulling up, a girl came out and I'm like, I know what this is. <laughs> and she started going window to window and be like, sorry guys, you gotta back up, we're closing. <laughs> and then the time before that, um, I tried to go inside and um, same thing, they were closing. So it's been rough here uh, for our Starbucks and their workers. I, I feel it. I feel it. Uh, but anyways, that's how I ended up with the... Uh, McDonald's the last couple times because I just go there instead. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good unless you are drinking this syrup straight. Uh, recommend if you like pumpkin spice to try it. It is not good for you, but it is good. My mom's here watching Asher, so that's why we were able to go out to eat and then I'm filming right now and you're not hearing the sweet baby boy yelling in the background. <laughs> I do need to... Uh, make my mom's shirt. I probably won't film it though. I'm just going to make it real quick. What we're going to wear for the, because she's helping me at the vendor um, festival. And you'll see me a lot this week because we have a lot of prepping. So, P.S. This is what it looks like without my light. Do you see the difference here? I look so much younger and like just prettier. <laughs> 
Happy October. It is October 2nd today. I don't know what day it is as I upload this, but I have been up for a while now. It is morning still. Um, I've been getting up early, early, just so I can get some hours in for my part-time job. So I have to at least do 15 hours a week. And um, I'm realizing it's hard to do unless I get up way before baby wakes up because I found during nap time, I usually have to do stuff for the chunky bee. So that's what we're working with. If I ever look tired or more tired than normal, that's why. Um, we have a lot of Amazon packages to open. I went through a couple of them already. I'm like, I should be filming this. So um, I'll show you the things I already opened. A tablecloth for the six foot table. This I'm pretty sure matches the banner perfectly. So I'm so excited because uh, my clothing rack is pink and I figured, cause I was gonna get a pink tablecloth just to match it. But I'm like, I don't want it to look like it's just for girls. So I thought I'd add in blue. Again, the sign's blue. So I figured that would tie it in together. I do have another canopy on order currently. It's supposed to come Thursday, which is a little nerve wracking because um, I need it for Friday, potentially setting up Friday. I don't know, I need to get with the event coordinator because I have not received any info on that so um or setting up saturday morning i guess depending which one it is but that's close because i need to practice with it still um and then i got some bungee cords they're three different sizes so i'm going to use this for the canopy and for the um banner and i got a cute little business card holder uh some I haven't opened it yet, but there should be some business card Avery um, printouts. I decided not to go through uh, Printify for this, at least this time, because I ordered, you guys saw the Printify, is it Printify? No, Vista Print, um, clothing tags. And unfortunately, I wasn't thinking in my mind that I should get less clothing tags and like a half and half like business card clothing tags. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna just print off some with my printer and use that for it, no big deal. Plus I have my Etsy site now I wanna add to it and I didn't have that before. Um, but I got some um, edgers for it because I want it to be rounded and look a little cuter. And that was like super inexpensive. <laughs> and so that's all I, oh, just kidding. I also got some black tissue paper for, you'll see the bags in a second. I did not order a kitty, so I don't know what you're doing, sir. Let's dig into the boxes now. And guess what, guess what? I was smart and I have my cutter today, which I usually don't. So hopefully I don't cut myself because, you know, I'm not used to using these. Next up, we have some acrylic. <laughs> risers for my glasses they're just tra transparent clear they have um, a film on them right now I believe and that way I can have different levels for my glasses because different levels gives your eye more attention to actually I think these are my bags I only ordered 50 of them and I sliced one open why would they not put something on top of it to protect it Oh, I sliced more than one. I sliced two. I have 48 bags now. That's annoying. That's so annoying. Like, who would not slice that? Okay. And then I'm going to be putting a sticker on each one of these. The Chunky Bee sticker. Oh, and then we have more glasses because remember I broke two full packages of them? Okay, looks like this package is intact. Good, good, good. So here are the business cards and I have a hundred. This is really thin. So I'm surprised because it's supposed to be thick paper that this is a hundred in here. We're going to play around with that this week and print them out. And then lastly, I have a cup order that came in last night. I'm going to be packing today as well and shipping it out. Okay, B, nope, we are not going to play with this. I'm gonna get to rearranging some of this stuff and organizing and be back with some packaging. Yes, 
for some reason you're watching this YouTube. <laughs> and I think now we're just gonna head to the post office and that is it. I didn't get to do any work today because uh, Asher skipped his nap. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're struggling a bit today. I think because he's feeling a little sicky, he has snot. Um, draining we are going to maybe go on a run I can see how long he lets me run with him but we're definitely not going to the Y because I can't take him to child watch and um, because you'll get other than the baby sick so I may see you again in this video but probably not I'll probably see you tomorrow have a good day bye I forgot to show you guys I have to get rid of all of our bamboo bowls because while I thought they were microwave safe they definitely are not and I didn't realize they were like exploding and chipping off in the microwave. And I'll show you the one today that I was making Asher food and I heard a big bang. And let's see if you can see. Do you see there's a big chip missing there and there's a big chip missing right here. Oh, it's not really showing. But anyways, um, I'm gonna throw those away. More just chipped off here. What I am going to do though is um, I have, because I really want to get rid of this little bag. So our library over the summer had little, um, they called them kit pickup days where you could pick up a, this was an adult kit craft and make it. And I have not made, it's a citronella candle. So I figured since I have those bowls that I'm getting rid of, I might as well use one of the bowls to heat up the candle wax because you have to put it in the microwave. And I know like, obviously I've been using those bowls for a year to put it in the microwave. I think it'll be okay just to do this real quick. Sir. Now I just need to add in the, this is such a cute, tiny little glass vial. Um, this is the citronella scent or whatever, <laughs> oil. Pour it into my melted wax, and then I just need to stir that, and then dump it, it oh, that's strong. <laughs> and then, whoo, dump it into the little bucket that I'm gonna put in another bowl because they said it might leak, which they put painter's tape on it. So, one second. Heat glove, because this bowl is very hot. I'm going to read the step. I need to place my little wax. If I had a little sticky thing, that would be more helpful. Let me tie this. They said to tie it up to here. And I wasn't recording as I put it in. So cool. Just letting that kind of drip a little more. And then I need to fix the wick again. Okay, as long as the kitty doesn't disrupt this, I think we're good. I'm going to throw away my bowl now. <laughs> we're going to have to get new ones. And now I'm going to end the vlog. We're going to maybe run. I still don't know if I can convince him to. We just dropped off the package at the post office. So our daily goals together are done. I tried to give him another nap because he didn't take his first one and that failed miserably. And now I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.
and they are all in the basket now ready to go onto the cups i just cleaned no casualties this time hello it's a new day welcome uh it's tuesday today and the craft vendor show festival whatever you want to call it is saturday and so today's school i just obviously you saw um cut up all my ghost cups because I have 24 brand new cups I just cleaned that I have to um, put them on and I have to get a few shipped out as well. So I think the plan will be when he goes down for a nap here in the next like half an hour, I'm going to do work for my part-time job and then um, when he wakes up, I'm gonna do all the cups. That is the goal and ship out the, whoa, whoa. I have one order that needs shipped out today. So we're gonna do that and I'll probably just film on music, me putting the cups on because um, let's be honest here, we cannot contain him. So I'm just gonna speed through it with you guys. Uh, and yeah. I will probably maybe get to organizing some of my uh, office because I need to unpack some of the stuff we have for the vendor fair um, and start getting that prepped and ready. So I'll see you guys soon. of them all scratched up and a few of them had glass in it so here's the thing I'm returning these and I am going to find another glass manufacturer and do an order real fast because I don't I need glasses and I need them here within the next two days and oh, I'm stressed okay so that's what we're dealing with luckily I do have one already made that's fine that I can send out for the order um, today and I think actually I have like three that are fine so I might put a pause on my TikTok and Etsy just for today and tomorrow until I get the new glasses in <sighs> so annoyed so annoyed and anyways um, I just put B down so I need to start working now and ugh. you want to know how my morning has been let's just say I was wearing this this morning and there was an accident that ugh. Um, and it's already been washed and dried. It's been a long morning, <laughs> long morning. <laughs> it's Thursday. I have tomorrow set up for the festival and I still have so much to do. So I'm about to do some peel ASMR with um, the last of my stuff I need to heat press. But after that, we still have so much stuff. Too much for me to even talk about. So I'll just film. <laughs> what I can of it. We're supposed to be getting the tent today. It's raining, so I can't even practice. I have a feeling, unfortunately, tomorrow, my mom's coming down, but when we set up tomorrow like evening, that'll probably be the first time I take it out. So it's gonna be a learning curve. I'm hoping though, I guess maybe in the morning I could take it out and practice. <sighs> Again, we're just gonna have to like roll with it and see what happens, so. Enough talking, be sleeping. Uh, I need to wrap this up. 